Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well. In this video, we are going to work on shelf for our wall for decoration. We can use them in bedrooms, in kitchen, in bathroom, wherever we need them. And as you can see, we can control them. We can control its dimension, length, width, and its folders, their color, and these kind of things. So let's just get started. Go to your family click on new and create a new family in generic model wall base open it first of all you need to set your unit then uh, we have a few views here this is our left view and we need to create our shelf in this side this is our placement side and here you can see it's 3d dimension to start go to your placement side and just create a few references to control its length so create one here one here and two here we need to uh, create uh, parameters to control them so first go to annotation select aligned and create annotation from ref level to this reference make sure that you select right this is for controlling height select it and create new parameter for it then you need to do this again for its thickness so put another annotation in here and create new parameters for it we can call it thickness okay now to control these two lines we need to make them equal so go to annotation select align click on the first one then this center line and then this line and click outside if you click this eq here they will become equal now create another one from this reference to this reference and click outside turn this to a parameters and call it length okay now we can create our shell go to create click on extrusion do a rectangle just whenever you want try not to use any references for now then click on align and block all of the lines manually make sure you're selecting and locking them with reference lines hit finish let's give it a new material this is good and now let's test it this is our height it's moving our length working and our thickness again working okay go to left view this is our shelf and it's in the wrong direction so draw this away from your wall let's change this okay now to control this shelf on wall we need other references we need one here one here and one here and make this line longer than all of them so you can just select it easily and align this this with your wall make sure you're selecting the edge of your wall not this middle line and lock it okay now you can just lock everything to this line now create another annotation for this distance click on this one and your wall and also to control its width you need to create one here create parameter for this and name it width and 
and also create parameter for this and name it folder thickness i will explain more about this in a few seconds first just lock your shell with these two reference lines and test it let's move this up and this one down our bits now we need holders for our shell to create holders we need to locate our holders in this area they need to be pulled to the wall and they need to hold this shell we are going to create other references to model our holder create two here one above your shell one in the middle of your shell create another one here and it's just okay we need to align these two lines with these two reference lines so go to your 3d view we need to lock these two with these two lines this one and this one so click align click on this and then this one and lock it and do this for the other reference too as you can see they are fixed here okay, we need another one here create annotation for this area this area let's create it here we need another one for this area we need one for here we can add references whenever we need so let's just continue this is our holder thickness we need to use holder thickness for these two dimension as well so select them and just put them on holder thickness go to create select extrusion and create one here as always lock them yourself hit tab if you can't find your reference line lock them we need to edit this dimension so just delete it and create me one for this distance click here and here create another parameter for this and it doesn't matter really what you name it and another one for this now let's see what we did let's change its material now we need to control its distance from the edge of our shell go to your placement side and just create other references in both sides go to annotation and create the dimension here Create new parameters for these two holder widths and create another parameter for this golden holder distance, distance from the edge of the shell. Now just lock your holder with these parameters. The best way to copy this to here is that you create another one but if you want to just copy this make sure you lock all the lines with references this might cause problem when you change your dimension in the real project so i'm going to create another one Let's check our holder width and holder distance. Okay, working. Our holder width working. Our holder distance also working. Perfect. So yes, this is our shell. This might seem confusing, but if you just take your time and create this properly for one time, you can use this whenever you want. We can also model some bolts for it to just give it a shape 
or you can create fillets for the corners of your shell. I hope it was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial. See you soon.